Hello, my name is Karina. What's your name? Hello, my name is Monika. Monika. And where are you from, Monika? I'm from Poland. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm from London. Okay. Can I see your identification, yes. please? Yes. Yeah. And can I have your form as well, please? Thank okay. you very much. Great. That's lovely. Thank you. Okay. And your entry three. Your entry three. Oh, Exam. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, um, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Um, have you brought in something to talk about? Yes. Mm. It's a photo. Oh. Uh, it's physiotherapist. Mm -hmm. uh, when I started studying, I knew just only that our body contains bones, muscles and system. Mm -hmm. And I knew that our muscles contract and relax and we can walk, run and talk. And it was normal for me. But I was very scared, or science was scaring me. Why? Because I learned how does a muscle work and how it's built. But after, when I improved, improved my knowledge, everything was very excited, mm -hmm. ex exciting. And I was very interesting about it. Mm -hmm. So now how I, old were you when you became a physiotherapist? Uh, I started when I was uh, 19. 19. Is, it, is that your job now? Yes, I hope that it will be my job in oh. the UK. Yes. So are you training here now? Yes, this? I'm going to pass the IELTS exam and mm. I'm going to work like a physiotherapist. Right, I see. Okay. So how long is the training? Um, my study uh, was during uh, three years mm -hmm. and after I need to do a master's program and after I can be a physiotherapist in the UK. Mm. But it's so you started training in, in Poland, Poland and I come he came here to continue this study. Right. And is there a big difference in the way you learn? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. But I think that I'm an ambitious person, so mm. I don't stay in Poland, just come here and I want just something to Right. Do. And you talked about being scared about uh, um. Now I know that uh, body con uh, has over 640 skeletal muscle that cover uh, the skeletal and give overall shape. Mm. And now I know that when the muscles uh, gives a receives from our brain along the nerve, our muscle contract and we can move. Mm. Mm -hmm. And so, what do you enjoy most about being a physiotherapist? Uh, I like um, very, I'm a very socializing pe person, mm -hmm. so I love a lot of contact. I love help to people. They come back to help mm -hmm. and be fitter, be healthier, mm -hmm. and it's the it's the best in physiotherapy. Okay, and what's the most, what's what's difficult about studying in England? Uh, English. Mm -hmm. I, I have to improve my English and after I can continue study. Okay, thank you very much for that. Thank you. Good luck with that. Um, now we're going to move on to the next task. Um, I have to make a decision, okay. a very difficult decision. Um, I live in London. I just moved back after, well, I moved back three years ago after living in Wales. So I'm really happy in London. Uh, but I think I may have to move to Scotland. To Scotland. Um, in my opinion, move to the Scotland now mm. it's a little difficult option because we all the time hear what is happening in Scotland mm. and uh, this overall Scotland want to be in the table. There's a lot of discussion and everything mm. so I think that you should stay in London mm. for me London is more interesting as Scotland mm. and uh, there is a lot of beautiful place and London has got some history but Scotland it's good to go and visit yeah sightseeing it's well I go there quite a lot because my parents live there oh, okay. and that's the problem so you, you, you can just take uh, some Holiday? Yes, for well, I've time. done that in the past, but my parents are getting quite old now and they need me to help them. If, it's, if 
This is unnecessary. Um, it will be very good for your parents. Mm -hmm. But I think that you should have own, make your own decision mm -hmm. and start uh, wonder what is better. I mean, the problem really is the distance, because it's not somewhere you can get to very quickly, you know. But now you have a job in London, yes? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. And you, you, should, you have to mm -hmm. finish a job and go to Scotland mm -hmm. because your parents are, are mmm. old. So it's... But they need it's someone difficult. to help them, but maybe... Maybe you should just try take a holiday and mm -hmm. try how it will be look like when you will be in Scotland. Mm -hmm. And you will be in good mood or no? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I think that's a good idea. I'll just sit and here. after your holiday, take you time. can make a decision. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll take take my time over it. Then. Okay. Thanks for your advice. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the next task. Okay. Are you ready? Yes, no. I'm ready. We're going to do the role play. Okay. Okay. So this is the situation. You are at work. You are worried that your English is not good enough. I'm your training manager. Okay. Hello. Hello. How can I help? Um, my name is Monika. Mm -hmm. I'm, I've been working here mm -hmm. for two months. Mm -hmm. And I'm a little afraid because I want to make a new friends mm -hmm. and want, I don't know, be more socializing with, with the staff. Mm -hmm. But I have I have a problem with my English. It's not good enough, and I don't. I, I haven't got an idea what I should do. Oh, I think you're doing really well. I mean, people are very say very nice things about you. Yeah, but my pronunciation is not good, and oh. sometimes they don't understand single words. Or really? when I want to say something in past, mm -hmm. I can use a perfect time, a perfect tense, mm. and it's it's the most difficult. For what do you think would have helped you? I don't know, maybe... Do you hear about some good teacher or can you recommend me some teacher? There is a college quite nearby. Mm -hmm. The problem is I can't really give you any time off work. But mm -hmm. um, Okay. Maybe, I don't know, maybe we should, although we can, mm -hmm. organize some mm -hmm. party in, in work and everyone could meet together mm. as well as, as, as we can. So I mean there are some other students from uh, I think there are a couple of Italian not students but mm -hmm. a couple of Italian um, employees here mm -hmm. who are learning English. Maybe we could talk to them about okay. how they have managed to improve their English because they've actually improved quite a bit. They've been here much longer than you. Okay. So they've had more time. Mm. What time? I don't know. Maybe I could. Uh, maybe we could have a, um, a coffee together. Okay. And and we could see if they've got any suggestions because I know they've had quite a lot of experience and they've. Okay. You know, okay. They've, I know they've been taking English exams, but I'm not mm -hmm. quite sure where. Mm -hmm. Would that be useful? Um, it, it it's very good idea. I I agree because really, I can't communicate with. Everyone. You're finding it very difficult. Yes, yeah. yes, it's very difficult. Though. Well, don't worry, I'm sure we can come to okay. um, a, a, a find a solution okay. for this to help you. Um, but do you hear about some good ways to improve my English? I don't know, maybe. Well, I think you're doing a very good job just in working in an English in environment, English. You're okay. living with English people. And that's that the main thing. To practice you know, English. Yes, watching going to the cinema and reading English books and you're doing, you know, you're on the right track. Okay. Let's see how we can help you further. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you very you. much indeed. So that's all for now and we'll continue with the group discussion shortly. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you.